Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Saturday, June 20th, 2020, obviously. <laughs> so anyway, um, I wanted to do something a little different today. A little different video. You're a freaking trip. Um, I wanted to talk about what is the attraction for going off grid okay why do people do it why do they want to do it what's involved with it you know um, what's it all about and I think a lot of people go into the idea of going off grid thinking that it's going to be awesome it's going to be wonderful it's going to be a piece of cake and you're going to have to excuse me for a second I'm going to do an old fashioned itch on a spot that I cannot hit oh that feels so good <laughs> Alright, um, so they're, they're, they're in love with the illusion of going off-grid. And a lot of people, unfortunately, more than half, uh, that attempt to go off-grid within sight of one year are back on the grid. And why does that happen too? So we're going to talk about a couple of these things. So, uh, so why do people want to go off-grid? Obviously part of it is the freedom. It is... Uh, you know, independence, having your own solar system, having, you know, um, growing your own vegetables, all those types of things. So that's that's a really big attraction for a lot of people when it comes to, uh, you know, wanting to go off grid and wanting to be as. It, it's it's the last way, realistically, in the United States, in my opinion, that you can be as independent as you possibly can be. Now, obviously, depending on where you are, what part of the country you're in. Uh, all kinds of rules and regulations as far as that goes um, you know so you have to pay attention to those things as well uh, you really really do and uh, because otherwise uh, you will get people that will try to cause you problems and uh, you know if you think that you can just go and do whatever you want now let's don't get me wrong if you go way back in the bush uh, I mean I'm talking way back there's probably not a whole lot of rules that you got to follow when you get way way out there but if you have a regular job that you have to go to and you want to you know be semi near civilization if you will um, you know all these small towns they're gonna have different rules and regulations that you have to check into uh, depending on what you're trying to do what you want to do and see if it is legal or illegal in those type of situations so those are things that you definitely need to look into uh, otherwise, you're just going to end up with problems down the road and more frustration, probably putting out more money than you thought you were going to have to and all kinds of things like that. But why do people give up? Why do people, after you know less than a year, a lot of times, they're right back on the grid? Because it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. Um, you know, for me, uh, I just, I'm stubborn and I'm determined, always have been, always will be. Uh, you know, when people tell me that there's no way you're going to be able to get this done or that done or the other thing done, my answer was always watch me. And I've noticed, uh, you know, in the last two years, the, the uh, naysayers have gotten less and less uh, because we continue to do more and more. And, uh, you know, why do I do it? Why do, why do I put myself through everything that we're doing and, and the hard work and stuff like that? I do it... Because number one, I love it. Um, I absolutely love it. Uh, the the feeling of being able to grow your own crops, uh, to have that independence, to have that freedom, to have chickens, and have fresh eggs every day um, that taste awesome, that are awesome eggs. Uh, that's just a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Uh, heating with wood. Now that's a chore in itself, right? That's a lot of work. But you know what? Well, well worth it in the long run. And that's my opinion on that. And I, I don't even care. I don't even mind. You know, like I said, I don't mind. Um, if you remember, this pile was all the way out to here. All right. And that's what I have left. Uh, I have been really stacking quite a bit of wood today. And my goal is to finish this because I got that much left. But I figured I would take a break and do a video. But I wanted to show you uh, in here. Uh, as an, and as I continue to go up, uh, I can go higher because the curve out up over at this part is 12 feet, where on the back end uh, it was down to, I think, 8 feet. 
so there's that pitch on there so I can actually get more wood through here now I have three full rows done uh, and uh, so if you were watching yesterday I had the first row basically done and part of the second row done uh, I finished the second row did the entire third row and this is the fourth row so with what I have left out here I think will take up the rest of this fourth row so what does that mean that's 12 face cord in those four rows I think that uh, I can get another eight face cord in here easy um, without any problems at all so I'm probably going to go ahead after I get this all stacked and order eight more face cord of wood uh, I want this wood shed completely filled so when it's completely filled now we got about uh, 10 face cord over here We'll have 12 face cord in these four rows, so there's 22 face cord. I get another 8 face cord that gives me 30 face cord, okay? I will, there's no way I'll burn through that in the winter. But the way I look at it, um, again, it's insurance. So with having the wood here and ready to go, uh, whatever I don't burn this year is something that I will, you know, I'll have a whole bunch extra to burn for next year. And it just works out great that way. Um, I just, it really, really does. So, uh, I, and like I said, I, I don't mind doing it. So, also, so far, I have gotten uh, five buckets of kindling out of this. So, what is the significance of that? What, you know, why, why pick up the scraps and stuff like that? When you're looking to start that fire um, and you have this type of kindling to work with, this will be completely, I mean, it's already dried out stuff already. But when you go to start that fire in the wintertime, these are awesome to have. Um, absolutely awesome to have. Starts your fire really nice and easy. If you have hot coals, all you got to do is feed a little bit of that on there, and boom, you got it going again. You know, and so that's it's hugely helpful as well. So it's it's really important um, to pick up all your scraps because again, you can use it for kindling. Hello, buddy. Yes, I know I'm making a video, so you have to make an appearance. I know, I know you do. So, anyway, um, I will be getting this last of this done today and getting it done. And then I will give uh, my wood guy a call and I will have more wood brought in again. And again, is it overkill? Sure it is, but guess what? I'm not running out of wood anytime soon doing that. And uh, I'm not cutting down my own trees doing that. And it just, it just it saves a ton. It really, really does. And so, you know, if we have, you know... Um, hard times ahead then we're we're more prepared for that and that's what it's really all about too I mean we just never know what's going to happen in the world and if everything goes to complete dog crap if I'm sitting on 30 face cord of wood in here uh, puts me in a catbird seat as far as having enough for a couple of years as far as burning goes now obviously I would continue to work at it and fill it back up every year as much as I possibly could but it gives you that advantage of you know being ahead so yes I know I know what I haven't seen you all day I've been stacking wood all day and now all of a sudden I'm doing a video and you're gonna come out you like the camera hmm you want to be a star yeah now see Lucy who is right there I don't know if you can see him right in there stop, buddy stop stop Lucy's been hanging out with me all day but he's smart enough to stay in the shade <laughs> all right, I think he wants to go in so let me do my job. But anyway, um, you know, a big part of, of living off-grid and being off-grid is peace of mind. Uh, peace of mind, freedom. I think those are probably, you know, the, the biggest things that go with it. In uh, trying to, like I said, trying to be as independent as I possibly can and not being tied to the system as much as I possibly can. It's just, it's a great feeling. It really, really is. And I'm going to tell you what, it's, it's for your mental health, there is nothing like it. I know I still have to cut the grass. I've been a little busy. I've been stacking wood for three days, so uh, I will get to the grass. I'll probably cut the grass either later tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. But anyway, um, you know, it's just uh, it's a process. Uh, it is not an easy process. I will tell you what, it's a huge transition. If you think that it's going to be... You know, all rainbows and unicorns with going off grid, uh, you are going to be sadly mistaken. There's going to be roadblocks that are, are thrown your way. Things are going to happen. Life will continue. Uh, there will be sickness. There will be death. All those type of things will continue to happen. 
So uh, that's what happens in life. So you have to roll with those punches. Uh, you know, uh, things happen. You just never know what it's going to be. Uh, but again, it, it puts you in a better position to handle whatever is coming down the pipe. And that's what that's what I love about it. Uh, you know, it's just uh, and like this year. I know we've gone crazy this year, absolutely crazy this year, getting things done, which has been great. Uh, it's been a very, very busy year, but uh, again, it just that's how it goes. So I want to show you something, and I want to explain something to you guys because people are asking questions. So we're going to go in here to my sister's place real quick. All right. So people were asking why. Did he put the insulation in backwards? The insulation that he got, and I'm going to go back here and show you, has no backing on it. So there is no right side or wrong side with this insulation because if you see this insulation either side, there is no backing. So here he got that side, and on the back side, there's nothing either. Okay, that's what he ended up with, you know, that's what he got. And so he got it for, I don't even know what price he got it for, but uh, this does not have any backing. I think it's like R30. So obviously he can't put R30 in the wall because it's going to be too much. So he's breaking it down a little bit. And, uh, you know, like I said, again, uh, not my circus, not my monkey. So uh, it's his bag of beans and he's doing it the way he wants to do it. And I'm like, you know. I have my own thoughts on it, as I explained to you guys, but uh, again, that uh, to each their own. We'll just put it like that, and we'll leave it at that. But uh, so I know people were questioning that and wondering why. So that was why. And it's funny too. Now I wanted to, I wanted to bring this up yesterday. So yesterday, in my video, I explained why I was not using my wheelbarrow. Right? Very clearly in the video, I explained why I'm not using a wheelbarrow, why I'm doing it all by hand, all right? Because there's a wheelbarrow sitting right there, all right? So I have a wheelbarrow if I want to do it that way. The reason I did it the other way, and I told everybody, was because I wanted the exercise. With walking back and forth, taking a couple pieces at a time, it really works on your strength, and uh, it's a good workout, and I need the workout, so that's why I'm doing it that way. Plus, I have the time. Um, I have not been in any kind of rush. I'm not on a time clock with stacking this wood, and that makes a big difference too. I mean, if I was doing a job for somebody and trying to get it done as quickly as possible, totally different, okay? But I'm not. Um, this is my own gig. I do it at my own pace, and so, you know, I got a lot of wood already stacked today. I probably stacked more wood today already than I did in the last two days, but that's okay. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, you know, I just, like I said, I'm, and of course, as I keep getting more and more into it, I'm like going, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. So I've just, that's why I've just kept going today. Uh, I started this morning. It is after two in the afternoon now. Uh, so I, I figure maybe another hour of me doing this and I'll be done. So I'll probably wait before I put this video up uh, to continue this because I basically was taking a break to make this video. But I just kind of wanted to share everything with you guys of why go off grid. Why? Why do? You, and I would love to hear your guys' feedback. Um, people that are off grid that are contemplating going off grid. Maybe some of you guys that have tried off grid and it didn't work out for you. You know, share that. I, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Uh, today is the 20th. Tomorrow's the 21st. Tomorrow starts our sixth year living full time off grid. So uh, I might know what I'm talking about a little bit. <laughs> because I've been doing it for a while now. Uh, it has been an adventure, I will not lie. Uh, we have had some times where it has truly sucked, uh, big time sucked, you know. But overall, uh, I wouldn't change the experience for anything. Uh, it's been a wonderful experience. Uh, again, it's been a lot of hard work, but it's been well, well worth it as well. And, uh, you know, I still have a ton of stuff that i got to get done this year, outdoor stuff. And again, so while the weather is there, while the weather is decent, um, I'm going to get out and I'm going to get my work done. You know, it's uh, just, like I said, I, I, I'm feeling that clock ticking. I feel that clock ticking. And I don't know how much time we have. So to me, the more I can get done, the more I can get squared away. Uh, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to definitely be ordering another 8-face cord for the simple fact 
that should fill me up. That should fill this wood shed up completely. And um, again, it just puts me ahead of the game. And then it's not, you know, then with whatever we burn this winter coming up, you know, it's, it, we're going to be in a much better shape. So uh, two more face or four, eight, eight more face cord. I figure it's two more rows, which would take us out to about here from this level, which still gives me more than enough room to get in here to get the old wood first. And that's what I was looking for. Just making sure I got that pathway to get to that old wood first. And uh, so that's where we're at. So anyway, guys, um, that's what's happening. It's been a productive day again, just trying to get things done. Um, there's other, like I said, there's a bunch of other stuff I want to do videos on. I just have been focusing on this right now. So, uh, you know, the next time you see this, you'll see this wood all stacked. Uh, and probably, you know, at some point next week, I'll have them deliver me another two, fa or two truck loads full. So we'll get it. It'll all get stacked. It'll all get done. But... Uh, perseverance and stubbornness good good traits to have so anyway i hope everybody's doing fantastic i hope everybody's having a good weekend be safe uh out there you know be careful okay uh remember guys we are all in this together that's important to remember also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love tell them every single day tomorrow is not guaranteed we never know what's going to happen in life uh, also remember std it's one step at a time one thing at a time and one day at a time Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that can stop you from getting there is you. That's it. Nobody else can stop you. Uh, stay positive. Stay away from that negativity, and you will be fine. Um, again, is this worth it? Is, it, is living off-grid worth it? In my opinion, 100% yes. 100%. A lot of hard work, but it's really rewarding. There's a huge sense of accomplishment when you get a project done. Uh, you know, uh, pride, if you will. You, you, not that you're prideful, but you feel proud that you got, uh, you know, that next thing chopped off the list. And, you know, as you continue to get things going, and here's the best part, too, what a lot of people really don't get with it. As you get these projects done, it makes your life better. It makes your life easier. And that's what it's all about, okay? So that's what we're going for. And here comes Mr. Buddy once again. All right, buddy, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Yes? Say goodbye to everybody. All right. All right, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. Yeah.